In this video, we're going to continue our example and show how to generate a scatter plot in Stata. So this is if we wish to relate two variables to each other. So we can do a number of different types of scatter plots. We're just going to show two basic ones here. So the first is to do a scatter plot of unemployment versus inflation. And in our command window, we will just type the command scatter, choose unemployment, choose inflation, and hit enter. And we'll generate a scatter plot which looks like this. So whatever you type in first will appear on the y-axis and the variable you type in second will appear on the x-axis. So here we have a scatter diagram uh, of unemployment and inflation. Now, something which is usually nice to add to this is a linear line of best fit um, so that you can see if there's any kind of pattern or trend in the data. And to do that, we're actually going to overlay two graphs, one with the other. So we're going to use the two-way command in Stata and we're going to open a bracket to say this is our first graph and it's going to be our scatter graph of unemployment and inflation and then we're going to have a space and open bracket again and we're going to put in our second type of graph which is going to be our l fit our linear fit graph that's going to be unemployment and inflation again we're going to close bracket and hit return and what we're going to see is that this adds this linear red line, which is a linear fit line. And that allows you to kind of see patterns within the data. So it allows you to look at, well, as inflation is going up, unemployment rate is falling, and so on. So this allows us to kind of tweak it. And the two-way command is a very useful command for overlaying data. Now, what we want to do as well is remember that once we've used these commands, we want to copy them and paste them into our do file. Now we could type these directly into the do file. Sometimes it's easier to type in the command window, check they work, and just put them into the do file afterwards once we're happy with them. So again, put in our notations, generate a scatter plot. And here we're going to say this is generate a scatter plot with a linear fish line. And there we have our uh, scatter plot commands.